6.9, we love that depth, don't we? How's it going, guys? Welcome back to my video. Today, obviously, we're not in Texas or uh, somewhere warm down in the southern states. We have made it back here up to good old South Dakota. We got our two good buddies here. Pit and the little Greeble. You guys have seen them on the channel before. Same with Tungsten. These two and I actually went out last year and clapped the walleyes. And today we're hoping we can do the same thing. We're fishing this little slough. Uh, max depth is probably about seven, eight feet in here. And uh, these walleyes like to come up here early ice and uh, start mucking some bait fish. But we are working with about, oh, I don't know, saw three, four inches probably, something like that. Pretty good ice, pretty solid. A lot of people out here, but. Today's video is actually sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they are a monthly base subscription uh, company. And here, we actually got one right here. Today, we're gonna be using one of their ice fishing boxes. So we're gonna open her up, old son. Here we got the Strike Pro Little Blade uh, Bait. It's not really a blade bait, but it's like a airplane thing. It's a little glider, it goes doink, doink, doink. This thing has worked in the past for me really well. And uh, I'm sure that thing will work. And then here, we got some T-Vex little tungstens. And uh, they're looking pretty big, pretty good. You're a big tungsten guy. Your nickname is Tungsten. Uh, you might want to try these out today, buddy. You want these? You want to look at them? Here. Tell me what you think about them. They're pretty big. They're pretty good. I like the colors. Yeah. I think they'd work. Uh, these walleyes are pretty aggressive, so we probably won't have to use anything finesse. But there are quite a few perch and crappies in here too, so that might come in good for the tungsten. Here we got some frostbite little. Creek chubs, these things have worked really good in the past for me. You just put them on as a little plastic, you can tie these up with the good old uh, tungsten that we just got. And uh, this will actually work really good. Then we got some 13 fishing little uh, mini quattro. Look at that. That would be a good crappie lure right there, little son. Tie that up with the tungsten. Freaking mint. And we actually got two of those suckers. So we got two packets, and uh, these things are pretty good. They're both pink color, so. And then I think we got one more item in here. That is gonna be our lucky juice. Oh, actually, we got two more. JK, we got a Muska jig from Northland Tackle. A little tungsten. More tungsten. Here you go, bud. Tell me what you think about that one. Oh, a little bit smaller. I like the gold colors. Oh, God. They work yeah. good for some crappie if they roll through. Heck yeah, baby. And then we got some freaking Widowmaker tungsten lures. More tungstens, man. I love a lot of tungstens yeah. here. These are more for like a bobber, I kind of feel like, kind of deal, eh? Oh, yeah. We're going to be using a couple bobber rods today, too, and uh, some set lines. So I feel like that would be good. We might put one of those guys on there, and uh, we're going to be good to go. But I am going to start off with a good old frostbite dinner bell, and I might pair it up with one of those plastics that we got in there, and uh, see what we can do. But I am going to throw on the GoPro, and uh, see what happens. But if you guys do want to check out Mr. Tackle Box, the link is down below. Um, huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video, like I said. Today's video would not be possible without them. Peyton. How are you feeling about this spot? You came here yesterday and clapped them. I think we should do all right. Numbers won't be a problem, I guess. Eaters might. The size. And you just have to get lucky to get eaters, because yesterday we probably caught like 50 fish. Damn. A lot of like smaller ones, but there's a lot of nice eaters in here, 15 to 16 range. We'll catch fish for sure. Oh God, yeah. I miss being out on the hard water. This is my second time out this year. First time I was out in October. Uh, now I'm back up from Texas from our little trip and uh, I'm ready to get back on the ice and clap some fish with the boys. I'm excited. We're set up in the glorious Big Chungus. You guys haven't seen us fish in this thing in a long time, but I'm just jabbering. We're going to get to fishing. All right, like I said, I'm just starting off with a little dinner bell right here from Frost. All right, we're going to come down here. Oh, the small minnows. And we are just going to be hooking it right through the head here. Just like that. Pinching off the body, and there we go. Oh, good old dinner bell. We got the good old bright gold on. Peyton said it doesn't really matter for color a whole lot, so. We're gonna be trying this guy out first. The rod I am using today is actually a frostbite too. It's called the meat locker. Basically guys, all I did was drop down about, I don't know, a foot off bottom there, and I'm just giving her a few nice jiggles every once in a while. And uh, I'm not the real pro fisherman here. These two are way better than me, so. I marked one just a little bit. Ago. Oh, Jesus. What's way up there, old son? We got some crappies. Little suspended marks up there. See so if we can get them. Oh, you're hooked up, eh? Oh, nice crappie, dude. You're gonna get them out of the hole? Get out of the hole. My drain was going. <laughs> Nice little frost. Is that on the frostbite rod too? Yeah. Ooh. Look at this, buddy. That is a nice looking fish right there. Not bad at all. That a kid. 
You gonna keep them or are you gonna release yeah, them? We'll keep them. We'll get some walleyes later too to go with them. Heck yeah, little son. Had a baby. He came in, we're in about seven and a half feet, and he was two feet off the bottom. So right I reeled up to him and he just crushed it. First fish, nice crappy. Scoreless. I'm macking the beef jerky, I see. A fist Love bump counter. Oh, buddy. Boy. <laughs> little eye? That's about the size of the last year. Oh, hell yeah. Buddy, with another little Walter. Yeah, we, that's about the average size for like the little ones you get. Oh, hell yeah. They're not tiny, but they're... They're long. Kind of healthy fish. Yeah. Brown looks pretty sandy. They're going to be nice. Pretty pretty cool. Cool. Oh, buddy's got the camera going down, too. Is it pretty clear down there, Tungsten? Oh, yeah, it's pretty clear. There's, there's some on the stuff, but it's There's a little... Oh, yeah. Down there. That ain't bad looking. There's a couple little homes and shit. Oh, there's a mark and he's gone. Nice, buddy. Nicer one, eh? Oh, yeah, nice eye, buddy. Oh, you see him under the ice just zoink? Why is he swimming upside down? Why is he just going everywhere, dude? You can see him right there. There he comes. Oh, you got My line's caught on the ice. Yeah, I just manhandle him. Tail grab? Did you just grab him by the anal fin, bro? <laughs> the line's like, the jig's in his mouth, but it's caught around his pectoral fin, so he's like sideways. It's a keeper. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. Oh yes, Poppy, Peyton, Daddy. Oh god, bad, yeah, bud. Way to go. Dang, buddy, there's a nice little 15 inch right there. Look at that little 16, glizzy gobbler. 15, oh god, yeah. Throw mine into your little pile there. Good job. <laughs> This is how it usually goes. Peyton claps the fish, me and Tungsten just here with our thumbs up our asses. It's not even on for that either, dude. Like, what? Alright, we got our thumbnail fish. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. We got our little... Look at that, but he's got teeth marks on him, bro. Little pike, little pikey pike. Little musky musk. Musky got him, bro. Musky. musky. Little muskrat. Look at that. Ow. Hey, chill! First fish of the day. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to let her go down in uh, Tungsten Soul because she hasn't seen a fish. Oh, we're just going to zoink. There you can see that. See you later, man. dude. <laughs> well, we're going to send her back down see if we can't get you anymore. Oh, dude, what? what the did I didn't even mark that guy. Of course, he marked my minnow too, dude. There we go. Oh my goodness, dude. What is up with me and the small little glibsy gobblers, bro? I'm a little fatter than you, bud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See you later. Oh, there's a mark. Oh my god, imagine a fish coming up to bite me. Imagine it. Like, I, I can't. Imagine Tungsten just screaming at a fish. What'd you hook him? Oh, everyone's just hooking up at me, I guess, eh? Oh, oh Peyton. That one might have been an eater. Oh, there's a fish down there. Walkies. Awesome. <laughs> Bugs on a chair. A nice one. Oh, yes, tungsten. Here. What is that? It's a, I think it's a, a first pickerel. A pickerel? A chain That's pickerel? Canada. Yeah, I know, but is it a chain pickerel? No, it's, it's a mere carp. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's carp. Oh, and that came on the bobber. On the little tungsten from the Mr. Tackle Box. Sweet, dude. Another small guy going back in the water there, old son. Here goes the sled. Holy cow, that thing went zoinking away. <laughs>
There we go. Crappie, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Nice little crappie came in there suspended. Raced up right to her after the shack about blew away, but raced up to her. She came in, ate it right away. Another nice little crappie right there. That ain't a bad one. Had her to pay it in style. Came out of nowhere though. A little walker. See you later. Tighten that drag. I didn't think it was that loose, dude. It wasn't that loose before. Double? Yeah. Double up? Oh god, yeah, here's my guy. He's gonna go back in. Peyton got one too. Oh god, yeah. And Tungsten caught that crappie a little bit ago. Wow. Holy shit. Well, we are going to pick up, guys. It is getting just a little bit sketchy out here. I mean, it's blowing 30 miles per hour, and there's some open water to the north of us. And all that open water actually started to come over the ice, and it's just it's just not really ideal. Because, you know, they get some water weight on top of this ice, and it kind of gets pretty sketchy pretty fast. So, as you guys can see, the open water is right there. It's pretty close to us, Peyton, ain't it? Yeah, it's time to leave. <laughs> We're picking up. We got, what, how many crappies? Four? Three or four and a couple walleye. Three or four walleye, or three or four crappies. Two walleyes, not bad, we caught some fish. Second time I was fishing this year, not bad. We had to cut it short because of this poopy weather and the, and the uh, water coming, but overall it wasn't bad anyways. We are gonna get everything loaded up and uh, I'm not filming outside because it is freaking windy and the audio is gonna be cheeks. So, we will probably see you guys when we get back to Peyton's unit and uh, clean the fish there and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe do a little catch and cook, I'm not really sure, but anyways, we'll see you guys back at Peyton's little unit. All right, guys, we just made it back here to the house, and I kind of forgot to film us cleaning the fish, but we got the fish all cleaned out, and I asked some of the boys, and they're just like, yeah, we want to try some Sandhill Crane, and uh, I actually still have some Sandhill Crane left from our Texas trip, so I'm going to cook some of it up for them, and uh, hopefully they like it. Um, basically, we're going to be cooking it like the same way we did earlier, but basically, I'm just going to be cooking it, um, wrapping it in some bacon, and then making the sauce. I'm going to cook the crane, and uh, you guys are going to get a review of it from the guys and see how they like it. So, you guys just stay tuned, and I'll see you guys when that's all done cooking. All right, our crane just got done cooking, and it's right here. We wrapped her in some bacon, and then we made some sauce, and uh, it should be pretty good. We're just going to mix it up a little bit more. Rocking. Go for it. Oh, some good dippage on that one also. Mm -hmm. My dad yesterday also just started looking super sick. Oh. That's so good. Is it? What does it taste like? Like does it, it doesn't taste like duck or no. goose or anything like that. It tastes something like completely different. It's like a hybrid between like a beef and like a bird. Just it shows like that texture like that. Yeah, it still has a texture, but it like tastes, tastes so much better. It doesn't taste like a bird. No. It's weird. The game taste is not it, there at all. It's not a thing. No. And then the bacon and the really sauce good. is really good. Also, huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to go check them out, the link is down below. They also have boxes for summer fishing like panfish, trout, walleye box and a bass box. They got all the things you need. Go check them out, the link is down below. But I hope I can get back out on the ice soon. Anyways, thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.